Hey y'all, it's your girl Keish. Welcome to the Keish TV. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Keish TV. I hope you enjoy yourself here with me today. Today is let's get over this chick and let's get through it Sunday. I was supposed to sit, give you guys this video yesterday, but it got corrupted on my phone and it wouldn't it wouldn't upload. So I was gonna do it Monday, and I thought about it. What better day than to do this than Halloween? And happy Halloween to you guys, and if you guys that are out there that celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween to you guys. Be careful out there, be safe. And uh, I hope I don't get no copyright strike by this, because I got this on Google, I mean, of YouTube Music, so. Uh, anyway, um, Anyway, I don't own the rights to this music. And, uh, I, be, this is a four-part mini-series of things that happened to me in my life when I was married. And the reason I'm telling this is because every time I start to feel good about myself and good about my journey, these things pop up in my head. Like trying to bring me down, you know what I'm saying? And I deal with mental health, deal with mental issues, and you know, some sometimes, a lot of times, I just let it get to me, you know. And I need to get over it, chick. You know what I'm saying? That's why this show is called "Let's Get Over It, Chick and Get Through It Sundays." So, for four Sundays, I'm going to come to you guys and tell y'all four stories that happened to me in my life, you know, when I was married. If you know my husband, you know his name. If you know me or my husband, you know his name. If you don't, we're going to call him Frank. You hear me? We're going to just call him Frank. You know, and I feel like I should share this with you guys. That way I can, like, I guess, have a weight lifted off me, you know, when I, you know, with this I should have you know hopefully I'll have a weight lifted off me when I tell it because it, it, it's heavy it, it's heavy you hear me you know and I know there's gonna be people that is gonna have something negative to say about it that's good for you this is that and the other this it is what it is it don't matter you know what I'm saying because I started to disable my comments but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that I ain't no punk I ain't no punk whatever you have to say just say it you know it is what it is. It happens. You know. But I need this to be over with. So that's why I'm going to tell it. Anyway. Uh, I. I met. I met Frank through mutual people. You know. Mutual friends. Whatever. And. I ain't going to lie. I was, I was digging him. I wasn't. I wasn't like I was when I met Mel. You know, I I was digging him. I was really, really liking him. You hear me? I really liked this dude. You know, he was cool and everything. All that shit. You hear me? And we became, you know, things led to this, is that, and the other. And we became a couple. We became exclusive. You hear me? And... You know, I was really digging him. You know, my family was, my family had a lot of, a lot of, what's that, uh, a lot of revisions about him. A lot of people, you know, a lot of my family members didn't want to see me with him because I had some family members that was like, something up with this dude, you know, something up with him, you you shouldn't, this, this, that, and other. But you know me, I'm hard-headed, I ain't want to listen, you hear me? And, um, I didn't listen. You know, he, you, you know, as months, as months went into our, our being together, he like, you know, he worked, he worked, I got a job, this is that another. And I'm like, okay, that's good, you fine, that's good, you need a job, you're, you need a job. Cause I like being taken care of. So 
he would go to work and wouldn't come back to like the next day. I'm like, what kind of job you got? Oh, I just slept by my grandma. I just slept by my mama, you know? And I'm trying to be the trusting bitch, you hear me? And I'm like, all right, all right. It is what it is. Then he, you know, somebody told me something. Somebody told me something in my ear about him. But I was digging this dude so tough, you hear me? You couldn't tell me nothing. You know, say what you want. You just jealous. You hate. You know what I'm saying? You hate and you jealous. Don't tell me nothing about him. Right? So, I... I get with him. Months. A year go by. How does every woman want to be proposed to? With the man getting down on one knee? Telling them they love them, you know, all that, you know, how they've been together, this is that and the other, and, you know, the whole nine yards, you know what I'm saying, the nice dinner, romantic, everything romantic, everything sweet, this is that and the other. Not me, not this girl right here. I got proposed to, while we was laying in the bed, watching TV, and it wasn't, will you marry me? Hey, hey. You won't get married. You won't get married. I'm digging him so tough. I'm like, you know, I didn't even care that he didn't come at me correct with a proposal. I just, I wanted to be with him. You know, you know how you, you get that with that person and, you know, can't nobody tell you nothing about him. You just want to be with that person. That's how I was with him. And I was so, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, I went to my grandma, you know, we was getting married and my grandma looked at me like, really? You know, my grandma had that. <laughs> look on me like, really, bitch, really? You know, that's the look my grandma had on her face when I saw how we was getting married. My mama had the same look. My mom was like, I know you're not serious. I'm like, yeah. You know, and um, and so when when we went to go looking for rings, you know, and that was, you know, I should have I should have saw the signs, but I was so in love. I didn't see not a sign, not one sign, not one. Oh, anyway, I didn't see not any signs. We go to a pawn shop. Looking for rings. Come on, we ain't had no money, so we go to a pawn shop looking for rings. And what I do, I pay for the rings. I bought our rings, engagement rings, wedding bands. I bought that. I bought that because oh I ain't I ain't get paid you know they yeah, I'ma pay you back don't even worry about it we trying to do this because we love each other this is this is that and other running it running it and I'm not slow slow or stupid I know game but I was so in love I wasn't paying attention second second thing I didn't wanna see right so we get, we get home, everything I show, I show my people the ring and stuff, everybody's like, that is real nice, that is real nice, that, that was, you know, that that's nice ring, who, he paid that, he paid that much for them rings, I ain't say nothing. My grandma see me doing that. She see me doing that. She know I paid for the rings. She was like, this bitch paid for them fucking rings. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Disclaimer. Let me go ahead and say this. Even though I didn't say it earlier and I should have, but I'm going to say it. This is not for churn. This is not. So I may put the restriction 
on here because most of my videos are all of my videos are not for kids. But I will be doing some cursing up in here, so you know, this is not for turn. But anyway, you know, my mama's like this bitch and pay for them fucking rings. Bitch, how stupid are you? This bitch supposed to pay for your fucking rings, not the other way around. I was like, but grandma, it don't matter. He ain't get paid yet. I love him. This is that and other. I sound like a, uh, one of the movies on, one of them shows on ID <laughs> or whatever. But anyway, I love him. You know, it don't matter. He get paid, he gonna pay me back. This is that and My grandma like, mm-hmm. He gonna pay me back. My grandma, she, my grandma like, what, six one. My grandma was six one. She was tall. And she stand up there tall, skinny, you know, like, mm-hmm. He gonna pay for it, mm-hmm. My mama with her little short 411, 411, but like, mm -hmm, he ain't paying for jack shit. You just, you know, you just got whatever. You just got, you just got got. So I was like, I see, you know, I don't understand why y'all can't just be happy for me. This is that and other. My mama said, you know what? You gotta, you got to make your own mistakes, and this is the mistake you are making. But you know what? It's your mistake to me. Your mistake to me, not mine, not your mom's. It's your mistake to me. And I was mad, but you know, you have to respect your elders. I ain't seen nothing. I just walked off. So when he came home, we talking, and I'm like, well, what are we gonna get married at? You know, I want to get married in a church. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, I'm talking about all the things I wanted to do when I got married, you know? I want to do all this, I want to do that, I want to have this, I want to have that, I want this one, no, you know, I want this one, this is my next one, if I don't want that one, you know, all that. All the things that a woman wants to do when she get married. Now, me, he was like, he said straight up, baby, you know we can't afford all that stuff, we might as well ask your mama, can we get married in her house? Cause mind you, my mama had a big ass house. You know, you know, my mama's house was huge. You know, and we got, you know, I asked my mama. My mama was mad because she felt like he should have, you know, we should have we got married in the church or even just as other people. We should have did something. This is that and the other. My mama, but she agreed to it. She agreed to it. You know, cause my grandma was like, you know, I understand. You know, we both don't want her with this boy and all that stuff, but again, it's her mistake to me. So once you go in on lay up there, and that was how, that's how my mama used to talk. Once you go in on lay up there and just let the girl have the wedding in your house. So she was like, you know what? Go ahead. My daddy, my age, that, that dude was my age. My daddy was like, you know what? We're going to do it and I'm going to be his best man. He was like, but my brother, my, I'm your best man. Don't play with me. I'm like, but daddy, I want you to give me a win. Because <laughs> I have to be both. <laughs> so, uh, when it came, I went, I said, I'm going to look for dresses. You know, I'm going to look for dresses at the time. I was wearing a 12, a size 12. Yes, if you can believe that, I was wearing a size 12. You know, and uh, that was shattered. Oh, that one him telling me about, you know, we can't do that, just ask your mama. Can we get married in the house? That was three when I should have paid attention. And four, four was when I couldn't wear my dress. I, you know, I had already had, I already had, you know, Two of my three kids, you know, so I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I know I wasn't, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna wear a white dress, but I wasn't, it was gonna be like off white or whatever and stuff. And man, he shattered that. He was like, mm, he was like, no, don't worry about that dress. We got to save our money so we could, so we could, uh, you know, get this house. So we could do this, this, that, and other. And I'm wondering why my money always 
going, whatever. It's always going to his needs, this, that, and other, because I was being stupid. And I wasn't paying attention. You know, I was being stupid. You hear me? You know what I want for my wedding day? I wore some blue shorts and a purple, a nice purple shirt, right? With some black g nuts for my wife. And he had on his work uniform, all right? He had on his work uniform. I had on blue shorts and a purple shirt with black jeans. Yep, yep. We got married in my mom's house. Right. And I thought, I thought that was the happiest day of my life. I thought from here, I miss it so and so. It's going to be smooth sailing from then on. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No smooth sailing. So, and then, y'all ready for this? We got married on his lunch break. We got married on his lunch break. So he can only stay like maybe uh, 30 minutes, you know, 30 minutes after, you know, we got married. So we having a little small reception. My mama made a little sandwiches. She, my mama decorated the house real, real nice. Cause my mama, my mama had that, you know, she had that uh, interior designer decorated it spirit in her. You hear me? That spirit was all over her. But she decorated her house so nice for us and everything. I didn't get a chance to walk down the aisle. We just stood there. It was. I thought that was. I you know not not looking at no signs. You know not paying attention that. This marriage was doomed from the start. All because I was, I wanted him. I wanted to be with him. I loved him. You know what I'm saying? I was head over heels in love with this boy. You know, but I, after you know, after the wedding, you know, they had the little reception. I looked over at my grandma and I saw tears in my grandma's eyes, and I never. I, look, growing up, I never wanted to make my grandma cry for nothing bad that I ever did. And that was the one time I made my grandma cry. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. So, I never, you know, wanted to make her cry. But that was the one time I made my grandma cry. You know? And uh, I think that was a stupid thing on my part. You know, I would talk to my grandma and I was like, what's wrong grandma? She was like, you did it. You know, you did it. I'm, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, she said it because she was happy for me and everything. I'm like, oh, thank you, you know. But she was like, I told you this was your mistake to make and you made your bed. You have to lie in it. You have to lie in it. And I'm like, Okay, I have to line it. So, man, y'all don't understand. It was just so, so bad. You know, that crying, you know, that crying that my grandma did, it really tore me up. You know, but I was still so stupid. I didn't think my grandma was going to tell me nothing like that. You made your bed, now you got a fucking lion to hear me. Just like that. Now you made your bed, you made your bed, now you got a lion to hear me. I'm like, you know, and I ain't know what that meant. I'm like, what you mean? She was like, you'll see. You know, it was like she knew some things about him that I didn't know. 
And it wasn't that. It was just the fact that she didn't like him, you know, because she felt like he wasn't good enough for me. And honestly, I should have listened to my woman because he wasn't good enough for me. When I think about it, he was not. He was not. So, we was running out of ice, right? He had to leave. He had to leave to go to work. So, I was good. So, I said, you know, I asked I asked my uh, sister, I say, bring me to go get some ice. We need some ice. She was like, bitch, this your wedding day, bitch. Just stay. I'm like, girl, he gone. Just, you know, so she brought me to go get some ice. And we passed one of the stores where, you, where we would go get sandwiches or whatever from. And he was out there with uh, my cousin, with my cousin and my brother because they all worked together. And he was like, hey, Mrs. So-and-so. I'm like, hey, Mrs. So-and-so. He said, wait till tonight. I'm like, baby, I'm ready. You know, just my, and my sister said, bitch, sit your stupid ass. Get your stupid ass back in the window. Right? And stupid I was. Stupid I was because he called me after, you know, after the reception was over. But he called me about maybe two hours later. When he was getting off, he said, uh, his brother and cousin, you know, his brother and cousins wanted to take him out drinking because it was, you know, because they missed the wedding and they wanted to, you know, take him out. I'm like, all right, so when you gonna be home? He was like, I should be home maybe about one, maybe about one o'clock. And, you know, I should have said, that's five. That's five. I should have saw the sign, but didn't. He uh, he said maybe about one. I'm like, all right, all right. He's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, and uh, uh, uh-uh, fly don't do that. So uh, it was just, it was really sad because. I, uh, I'm sorry, y'all, I keep bringing it back. I love this song. But, uh, let's put it like this. When he came back home, it was time for me to go to work. And I didn't have to work that day, but that's how late. I'm, I'm giving y'all the... I'm, I'm referencing how late it was when he came home. He came home at 3 o'clock that evening. And I didn't, you know, I was like, what happened? What happened? Oh, I had, got, I had drunk a little too much and, you know, so-and-so then brought me over there by my mama and I stayed over there. I said, well, you could have called me. Our first argument is a married couple. So you could have called me, you heard me? What the hell? I'm sorry, but I, I'm, you know, I'm here now. This is that and other. You know, let's go do something. Let's go, what, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know? It, what I found out was we didn't, okay, we didn't consummate our marriage that night. We didn't consummate our marriage till two days later. I'm sorry, y'all. This just, you know, it's making me feel like a little bitch right now. I'm sorry. But anyway, we didn't consummate our marriage like two days later, almost three. And a week later, I found out why he didn't come home till almost three o'clock. He, excuse me. He had one slept with this woman he was cheating on me with. 
How you like them apples? Yep, he went and cheated on me on my wedding night. He didn't go out with his brother. He didn't go out with his cousin. He didn't go out with nobody. When he when he got off work, he called me before he got to her house. And uh, I don't know if he was outside her door. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that he cheated on me on my wedding day. That was when I found it out. I was just, I was like, in my mind, I'm hearing, I told you so. 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 You would have thought, you would have thought when I found that out, I would have got my marriage and all. But I didn't. I stayed. I'm sorry. I stayed because, you know, I believe in marriage. You know, you don't, you don't get to force. I was so hurt. I was, I'm sorry, I was just crying, but I was so fucking hurt, Yerby. And you know, he was like, you know, he lied and said he wasn't there. But you know, who my source was? And I thought it was just because they didn't like me. That they told it to me to hurt me, you know. His mom and his auntie. They told me. It was so, so, so hurtful. You know. And my friends was like, Bitch, you need to get this marriage, you know. You need to do this, you need to do that. But no, no, no. Not stupid ass Keisha. Not, no, no, no. Not stupid Keisha. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She felt like, Keisha felt like, uh uh. Uh uh. I'm sorry, y'all. This fly is working on my nerves. But she felt like she could. Fix him. She felt like she could fix him. Let's be real. You can't fix no hole that don't want to be fixed. And that's just how I felt about him. You can't fix no hole that don't want to be fixed. You know? And that's just how that was. You know? You can't fix a hole that don't want to be fixed. I went through so much shit later in my marriage and it wasn't even funny. That the next story is going to tell is is going to tell more not about my wedding day it's just that is the main things that popped up in my head that he did to me. And that was, you know, you would have thought, that's the ultimate fuck up. You go sleep with another bitch on your wedding day. You didn't love that girl like that. You was running game. You was running a con on her. And that's how I felt. 
But I stayed. Everybody was like, bitch, you too good for that. You too good for that. You are a good person. Why would you allow this man to drag you down like that? And I don't give a fuck if he did just marry you. Why would you allow him to drag you down like that? And I heard that. And you're going to hear that in all four, in the other three stories that I talk about. I have several stories, but I'm only going to give y'all the four that's always in my head. You know, y'all, it, I'm coming up on, ugh, it's 30 minutes, I'm sorry, y'all, and this is, this was so, this was very painful, very, very painful, but my finale story is even more heartbreaking, you know, this has been something, I got it off my chest. I'm able to release it. You know, because I cried about it when it happened. Then afterwards, I just I just went numb. It was like, basically, I was stepping outside my body. Watching this go on. And just not doing shit. It was like, bitch, do you even give a fuck? Do you give a fuck? I'm like, I give a fuck. But what can I do? If I divorce him, I'm going to hell. You're not supposed to get divorced. You know, that was my thinking. You know? Man. So, y'all, that's episode one of let's get over this shit and get through it Sundays because you know that that that's the begin I mean that's one episode one big I feel like honestly now I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders partially because I didn't tell people about this. Only people that knew about what happened. Only the people that was there. And let me say that. Only the people that was there for the fallout of that knew about it. A male knew about it. I didn't go into super detail with her, but I did tell her what happened. Only those people knew. A lot of my other friends didn't know about this because, you know, because what I did was I tried to uh, build him up, you know, build him up to my friends. He a good man. This is that and the other. He a good man, you know. That was five whole signs well six cause I should have annulled my marriage but I didn't I stayed because I was in love he ain't gonna do that to me again he wouldn't do I with him with him I had low self-esteem. And I wasn't even big. I wasn't. I wasn't even big like that. <laughs> but as time went on with him, I did get big. Because I ate my feelings. I did. I ate my feelings. Oh, the time being with him but you know what I'm getting over it because guess what ain't nobody got time for that cause guess what this chick is gonna get over it and she gonna get through it you hear me and I told it not only because one 
this is the perfect day, Halloween, to tell it. But also because it's a Sunday. Because you Monday starts a whole new week. And I want to go into this week with this clear. As clear as it can be. You know what I'm saying? I want to go into every go into you know my journey even more as clear as I can be. You hear me? One more time, y'all. One more time. <laughs> as clear as I can be. So with that being said, this has been Let's Get Over It Chick and Let's Get Through It Sunday. And this was episode one of a four part mini series. And uh I'ma go ahead and get about you, y'all. If I have helped anybody, y'all let me know in the comments. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some hateful comments or just whatever, but y'all tell me what y'all think about that. I know a lot of things that I should have done that I didn't do. But if y'all know any other things I should have done that I didn't do, I'm telling you, I should have wrote a book about this. I really should have. Because, and you know what? I still think I'm going to. I'm, I think I'm still going to write a book about this. Just because you can't make this shit up. The way this shit happened to me, I can't make that shit up. I can't make that up. And why would I make something up with me always looking like the ass? With me always looking like the idiot? Why would I make something up like that? With this, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, stay tuned next Sunday for Let's Get Over This Chick and Let's Get Through It Sundays for part two. Part two, episode two. And with that being said, you guys, I love y'all. Y'all take care, be blessed, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with me. Until next time, always remember to smile, smile, smile. Even when there is nothing, nothing, nothing that you feel like in the world to smile about. God woke you up. He blew breath in your body to allow you to open your eyes and see this beautiful day. Somebody told me, anytime you have your eyes open above ground, it's a good day. So anytime you open your eyes above ground, anytime God allows you to open your eyes above ground, it's a good day. So cherish it. Cherish it. Because tomorrow is not promised to no man. With that being said, you guys said, you guys, I'm going to push it down and pull you up later, family. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Stay sweet.